Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marles Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Science 6 and I am Sir Mar. Today children, we are going to talk about the uses of energy transformation. Experiment time! Now, children, let us apply what we have learned from our previous video about the transformation of energy. But before that, let us read our safety tips. So, number one, never play with matches, lighters, candles, or alcohol lamps. And number two, do this kind of activity with the supervision of your parents or guardians. And number three, let us work safely with this experiment. The problem that we are going to solve with this experiment is how is energy transformed to another form? So what we need is number one, candle. Number two, lighter or matches. Number three, guitar. Number four, battery. Number five is the LED lights. Okay, so this time, let us investigate the transformation of energy. Our first experiment is strumming a guitar. Observe what kinds of energy are produced. Okay, now that you heard a sound from plucking a guitar, I prepared a question. How is energy change when you pluck the strings of guitar? The answer is, when you pluck the strings of guitar, the strings vibrate and sound is produced. The mechanical energy possessed by the vibrating string is changed to sound energy when you strum the guitar. Now that you already know, How is energy changed when you pluck the strings of guitar? Let us proceed with the next video. What did you observe in the video? What form of energy is present in the candle? The answer is... Chemical energy. How did this energy change to another form when candle was lighted? The answer is, the energy transformed from chemical energy to heat and light energy. Because when the candle burns, a chemical reaction occurs and produces heat and light. Let's have another experiment. You need to observe what kind of energy is being transformed. What did you observe in the LED lights? What form of energy is present in the battery? The form of energy present in the battery is chemical energy. How is this energy changed when it is placed in an LED lights? When you switch on the LED lights, the chemical energy stored in the batteries is converted into light and heat, and only a small percentage of the original energy in the battery is converted into Heat. Now, children, by doing all these three experiments, we already know how energy is being transformed. So, let us take a look in another example of energy transformation.
Energy transformation starts when radiant energy strikes the Earth's surface. Some of this energy is transformed by photosynthesis into chemical energy stored in the carbohydrate molecules in the plant. When humans or animals eat these plants, the chemical energy in the plant is transferred and becomes chemical energy in the human or animal's body. So, the chemical energy stored in the plant is transferred to the animals, and then the chemical energy stored in the animals is transferred to a human body, and then the chemical energy is changed to mechanical energy when doing anything, such as biking, running, and dancing. And then as chemical energy is transformed to mechanical energy, and mechanical energy powers various body activities, heat is released, which is another form of energy. Okay, now that you already know what are the different transformation of energy from one form to another, let us proceed with the uses of different forms of energy. So all forms of energy have many uses. We use energy for our own convenience and to make our life easier. First is we have mechanical energy. The mechanical energy can be produced by things like gears, engines, locomotives, and pulling trains. Mechanical energy enables a body to do work. Mechanical energy makes work easier and faster. Machines possesses mechanical energy that makes work easier. A good example would be a sewing machine. The mechanical energy produced by the moving parts of the sewing machine makes sewing easier. It is similar to using a lever in carrying and transporting objects. Another example of mechanical energy that makes work easier and faster is a pushcart and a wheelbarrow. Aside from making work easier and faster, mechanical energy can make things move. So, when the wind possesses mechanical energy, when the wind blows, it makes things move. Strong winds can move structures like plants, houses, billboards, and posts. It can also move windmills, vehicles, and ships. Next is chemical energy. The chemical energy is stored energy, and this energy becomes useful when released through the chemical reactions. Some of the examples of this is coal, firewood, battery, and fuels. Chemical energy is used as fuel. Gasoline, coal, and other kinds of fuel are used to run machines, motors, and vehicles. The chemical energy is used also to generate electricity. Our illustration is a battery and an LED light. So, the chemical energy present in a dry cell or fuel like gasoline can be used to generate electricity. When the dry cell is connected in a circuit, electrons flow and electricity is produced. Chemical energy produces sound and light. Let us see this illustration. So what did you observe? Very good. This is a fireworks. Chemical substances have stored energy. When a chemical reaction takes place, sound and light are produced. Firecrackers are examples of these materials. Okay, by this time, children, let us explore what are the uses of radiant energy. These are the examples of radiant energy. So number one, we have lights, x-ray, radar, microwave, and sun. Radiant energy travels through an empty space. It can be transferred through conduction, convection, and radiation. The sun is the major source of radiant energy. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. 
Radiant energy has a lot of uses. Number one, we have radiant energy is used for food making. Light from the sun makes trees and other plants grow. The radiant energy is trapped and used by the plants to make food by the process called photosynthesis. Next is, radiant energy gives light and color to the surroundings. Let us look to our illustration. So, radiant energy makes things visible. Radiant energy also gives color to the environment. So, the sun gives color to the surroundings. Another example is, radiant energy is used for drying and heating. So, let us look for this illustration. You can dry your laundry and other things because of radiant energy. Radiant energy is also used in obtaining salt from seawater. Radiant energy is also used for cooking. So, radiant energy in the form of microwaves is used for cooking. Radiant energy comes in direct contact with the food being heated and the molecules of the food start moving very fast. This fast movement will cook or warm the food. The radiant energy is used as a source of electricity. Let us look at the illustration. So the sunlight can be converted into electricity through the use of solar cells. Now children, you already know what are the uses of radiant energy. So let us proceed with the sound energy. Sound energy is used in communication. Communication uses sound energy to relay meanings through words, requires the use of sound. The siren of an ambulance tells us to give way because of an emergency. The ambulance should be given priority in the street. Sound energy is also used in navigation. With the help of sonar or what we call the sound navigation ranging, sonar is used to locate sunken ships, school of fish, and to map the ocean floor. Now let us proceed with the thermal energy. Thermal energy is used to cook food. By conduction, the energy of the hot iron pan can cook the food placed on it. Food placed in boiling water is being cooked by convection, and roasted chicken is cooked by radiation. Another example in thermal energy is used to warm the surroundings. So let us look at this illustration. The thermal energy from the fireplace is placed for heating homes in cold places. Okay children, so let us proceed with the uses of electrical energy. Electricity is used in transportation. So look at our illustration. The light rail transit or the LRT and the metro rail transit or the MRT use electricity to operate. It makes our transportation easier and faster. Electric cars also use electricity. Another example is electricity makes appliances work to make life comfortable. I have here prepared of examples of appliances that makes life comfortable. So number one, we have appliances used for cooking and then appliances used for storing food and appliances that makes us feel cool and comfortable and the last one is appliances that makes our life easier. Electricity is used in different industries. In modern factories and industries, electricity is important. Machine, cranes, and tools are powered by electricity. Electricity is used in communication. So let us look at the following illustrations. So number one, we have television. Number two, we have radio. Number three, we have fax machine. Number four is a computer and number five is a telephone. All these appliances need electricity to make 
communication locally and globally more efficient. I think that you already know what we have discussed today. So let us all remember that energy appears in different forms. It may be heat, light, sound, electricity, chemical, and mechanical. So there are various forms of energy and each form of energy has its uses. Various forms of energy are used to generate electricity and are used in appliances, transportation, communication, medicine, industries, navigation, and geology. And that's the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching. I am Sir Mar and please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget also to click the bell button to keep updated to our next lesson.